My name is Gabi Helford. I'm the executive director of the Mars Master Programs at RSM. That's a total of 14 programs, and we currently have around 3,000 students in these programs. And uh, yeah, I'm very curious to see what our students actually said about our programs. So, just gonna start watching this now. Okay, so my name is Haley, Vietnamese second year IBA student. Hi Haley, nice to meet you. My name is Betty, uh, born in India, raised in Eindhoven, uh, master's student doing strategic management. Okay, nice. Let's get started. All right. Okay, the first question. Why do most of the master's programs at RSM last only one year? Oof. Well, mm -hmm. uh, do you know? I don't because I'm still a bachelor's <laughs> student. Oh, if I, if I use a theory, I believe um, since it's very focused and specific, Mm -hmm. on one aspect, um, for example, marketing or strategy, I don't think you need more than a year to, to, to do a master's. Unlike a bachelor's, I think you're doing business, right? Yeah. You would need three years yeah. to cover everything in business. Yeah, so I like, think so. It's like three years at least. <laughs> yeah, that, that was actually not a bad, bad um, answer to this question. Um, most of the pre-experience master programs at RSM are actually full-time programs, uh, so we expect the students also to study these programs full-time. They have 60 credits and one credit is equivalent to 28 uh, study hours, which is not all classroom hours, but also study at home, doing group work and so on. But if you kind of uh, calculate that on a year basis, that's around 1,680 um, hours, and uh, these 1,680 hours then come down to approximately a 40-hour work week or study week, and um, therefore um, it, is, it is very much possible to do um, the master in one year if you actually see it as a full-time program. We do have one part-time program, uh, Dutch uh, language, part-time master in management, and that goes over two years because these people also have um, jobs on the side. But um, other than that, um, every program is a full-time program. Good, let's go on. Okay, so the second question. Can I go on exchange during the master? Well, I think it is possible and you can even do an internship if you like. Is that right? Yes, that's true. You can do an exchange during your master's. Um, either during your master's or after your master's, which also most students do, so they don't complete their master's within one year. They usually sometimes ask for, okay, can I go on exchange and extend my master's? Um, so that's also possible. Oh, nice. Most of our students who do go on exchange actually do that after they have finished almost all of their master. They just leave one elective open and that is then um, basically the course that they would take um, when they go on exchange abroad. Um, there is, however, a, a process, so not everybody can go on exchange. There is an application process, there are certain deadlines, uh, there is a selection as well, so um, please keep the website, um, keep an eye on the website if you really want to do uh, the master exchange um, so that you actually meet all the criteria and uh, don't uh, miss the deadline for the application. So, third one, can, do, can I do a master at RSM if I already have working experience? Well, probably yes, because like learning is for everyone and it has no limitations. Yeah, that's true. You don't need any working experience to get accepted to a master's program. Okay. The okay. Yeah, it's true. You can. There is, uh, there is no age limit as well, so everybody can start a master at RSM. Uh, just keep in mind that the average age of our students is around 24 years. So if you're um, over 30 and if you have a substantial amount of, of, uh, of professional experience already, it might make actually more sense to look into one of our executive programs, like for example our MBA program or our executive MBA program. But other than that, um, say if you're in your 20s and don't have a lot of uh, work experience, a master program is uh, just fantastic for you. Next question. Is the alumni network at RSM strong? Probably yes, because like 
I think that there are many people who are now working in like large companies, even the big four, as everyone knows. Can you elaborate more on that? Yeah, I uh, believe the network is very strong. Many RSM alumni come back and help out professors to, you know, work on projects with students or come through the RSM career centers to kind of um, offer internship opportunities or chances to talk with students. Also, we have the RSM Mentor Me uh, website where students can meet certain mentors who are also RSM alumni to further discuss, you know, um, kind of the work they're doing, how they get to their like, career path, um, everything about the company, and then, you know, what they've done. So kind of experience from someone who's experienced uh, being an RSM student and also working in the workforce. So it's very strong at RSM, I'd say. Okay, yeah, nice. Yeah, that was a great, great answer by Vedant. Um, it's all true. To add to what he said, we have currently around 40,000 alumni. So that is a, is a substantial amount of people actually in our alumni network, and they are all still connected with RSM. Um, we, we have means to reach them. We have a database. And um, as Vedant already said, they, they basically also um, come back to the university, for example, for, uh, for guest lectures or as a mentor or um, some industry specific uh, events that we have. We also have more than 35 um, international alumni chapters around the world where people who have a degree from RSM regularly can meet also and uh, do, do local events as well. So it is a very strong alumni network, definitely. Okay, the, a really long question, I guess. Yes. What does it mean when you say RSM aims to be a force for positive change in the world? Um, tough question, I guess. <laughs> but I think like um, many students at RSM aim to be like entrepreneurs, and on so many courses teach students skills to be like excel at the thing that you are interested in. Mm, just like it's just my assumption. Um, I see it as you know business. You have a lot of power on how you you know provide to the world what you do, um, and you can create positive change by you know, doing ethical practices, focusing on corporate social responsibility, all in that. You know, in the past, many businesses have been known to be corrupted and you know, cause many problems in the world. And I think RSM is aiming to make sure that students that exit from their university are, are focused on the ethics, the making a good change, a positive impact, helping others, and, and improving the world that we, that we conduct business in. So I see it as that. Yeah, okay, wow. <laughs> yeah, again, that was a very, very good, uh, very good answer of uh, Vedant. Um, the, the primary focus of RSM is to develop future business leaders who can also tackle those big societal and economic and, and also ecological challenges. Think, for example, about um, poverty or climate change, equality, um, and so on, natural resources as well. And uh, we, we actually want to encourage our students to be critical and caring and collaborative um, and uh, creative to, to, to tackle these challenges. And uh, that, that is what we do in our education but we also do it through extracurricular activities. Um, so our students actually get the knowledge and the skills um, to create this kind of positive impact in the world and in their later jobs. <laughs> okay, pretty short one. Will RSM find me a job after <laughs> graduation? Well, I think it's all up to us as new graduates and it's all about our effort to get a job. But of course, RSM will provide some, like, some support and some platform for us to look for vacancies. Yeah, completely agree. Yeah, there, RSM will not apply for you, but they will provide you resources such as the Career Center. Um, during the master's program, we have a course called Your Future Career, which dives into pretty much the, the path to applying and, and uh, applying to companies from, you know, building your brand, building a CV, doing company research, you know, learning more about yourself and to going to the path of, okay, how do I apply and, and get a job? So okay. Arson will definitely assist you, but they won't find you a job. So yeah, that's probably, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 
Yeah, that's that's again a very good answer. Um, it is true. We 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 try. We have instruments, and we have we we offer help. We offer guidance. We offer um, uh, platforms for students, and and also a course um, on 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 how to best prepare for your job search. Not only in terms of uh, how can I find a job, but also how can I find the job that actually fits myself, fits what I want to do, fits what I what, what what my interests are, what my passion is, what my future vision is, and so on. So we really try to try to help our students um, uh, doing that. We do have a, a career platform where thousands of of, of uh, job offers uh, for young graduates are actually posted every year also internships for example if a student wants to take an internship and our career center also does a lot of events um, with companies that come to campus uh, some industry specific events some uh, uh, specific events for certain functional areas and so on so we can give you we can give you guidance we can give you instruments but in the end, it's you who has to sell yourself, basically. <laughs> Next. What is the employment rate of RSM graduates? Well, I don't know about this much. Yeah, on the top of the head, it's on numbers. But you can go to the master's program uh, employment sheet, and you can find all the relevant statistics per program on the employment rate, um, also, the, the number of which companies employ the most, uh, where most students go to, even average salary. So you can find it on the employee fact sheet or graduate fact sheet on the master's program website. Oh, really nice. Yeah, that's correct. We do have these fact sheets per program. We also have a comprehensive employment report every year that is updated with the last graduating cohort that has a lot of figures actually on on, on how many of our graduates uh, find a job within six months or already during their during their studies at the at the most recent one it was about 90 percent of the graduates who were employed within six months and 50 percent of the graduates who even already had a job um, before they graduated so they they already had job offers and had had accepted these job uh, job offers so it, that's that's really great okay so the next one are there scholarships available? Well, yes, and I think there is also like a scholarship portal where you can enter your nationality and program so that they can find a scholarship that is available for you to apply. Yeah, that's very true. Um, also, the RSM website has all different uh, scholarships from, you know, if you're from uh, outside the EU or, you know, there's also one for Chinese students. Um, even for local students studying in Netherlands or Dutch students, you have the, the government subsidy. So there's a lot of scholarships available, um, so it's all on the website that you just have to apply and see which one matches your criteria. Yeah, okay, nice. Um, it's true, we have, a, we have a scholarship portal and when you enter your nationality actually, you can see really which, which scholarships are available for you. What is student <laughs> life at RSM like? Well, I think this is a really subjective question, it depends on who will be who will answer this but I think it is like the most important aspect is that the international aspect of everyone so like you can meet people who come from really many different nationalities even within one day so how about you mm -hmm. I definitely agree very subjective but the perfect balance is you know you you study during the weeks uh, you know meet different people work on different projects I love the international aspect of being an RSM student and then, um, yeah, during the nights, during the weekends, the city of Rotterdam has a lot to offer for students from the great bars, restaurants, the party scenes, and also the associations. As a student, you don't yeah, only true. study. Uh, most students always balance something, you know, either it's a work or a student association part-time job. Um, you know, you, you join those events, you organize, uh, you know, different events for students. Um, so. A life of a balanced student is, is great uh, as an awesome student, you know, you experience everything. Cool. Yeah, we also not only have like all the, the clubs and associations and uh, whatever nightlife and everything, but we also have a lot of good f sports facilities on campus. We have tennis courts, we have a gym, we have a sports center where you can take classes as well. 
we have a rowing team, we have uh, all kinds of other sports teams. So if you're if you're into sports, RSM is also a very very good place um, to be. Um, and uh, maybe also on the city of Rotterdam to to add to what Vedant already said, um, there it is a festival city. Um, and sometimes in summer you have a festival each weekend. Sometimes two on one weekend. We have music festivals, we have the Rotterdam Marathon, we have uh, the P World Port Days, we have um, uh, all kinds of summer carnival and, and, and whatever. So it's really like you always have, uh, you always find something to do. We have a number of really great museums as well if you're into culture and art and photography. Um, so there's, there's really something for everyone in Rotterdam. True. I I'm already enjoying it now. <laughs> Is Rotterdam a nice city to live in? Well, I've been here for only like three months and I think it's really great. Yeah, and the thing is that it has a nice location, really nice one within the Netherlands, so you can go anywhere if you like within two hours. And also the city has a lot to offer for students. There are like many cuisines around the world with the restaurants and yeah, and even the bars and the clubs are really nice. Mm -hmm. I definitely agree. I'm, I'm here already for my fourth year, so that <laughs> says a lot. <laughs> uh, so I completely agree. It's a great city for students. I would say probably the best city for students in the Netherlands. Um, great restaurants, um, a lot of bars, very student orientated. Uh, you don't have to worry about language so much. I know in smaller Dutch cities, you probably need to know quite some Dutch, mm -hmm. but the majority of the people here can speak English, so it's easy to uh, go around, travel, um, so fantastic, uh, fantastic uh, cities to study in. Um, just the only downside is the winter weather of the Netherlands is uh, yeah. not the greatest, but uh, we, we have hopes for spring and summer uh, where, where the city looks a bit better. So yeah. Yeah, that's, that's true. The weather is always a little bit uh, shaky. Uh, it's, I mean, it's maritime climate, so it doesn't really get really, really cold here, but it rains a lot. But what Vedan said as well is, is true. It's a, it's a really fantastic city. And what's also really nice here and what a lot of students really, really appreciate is the bicycle in infrastructure. Um, even students from other countries who are not really used to, to going by bike a lot, find it very easy to get around by bike here because we have great bike lanes and uh, ev everybody basically bikes. I don't even have a car, I, I just bike around uh, myself as well. So, And public transport is fantastic in the city, but also to get out of the city to go anywhere else in the Netherlands or even abroad. You can take a train to Paris, be there in two and a half hours. So it's, it's really fantastic. and. Um, and yeah, everything else uh, um, is, is, is also true. We live on the water here, very close to, we have a big river, we have a lot of harbors here, um, which makes it also very interesting. You can take the metro to the sea, you're at the sea basically in 30 minutes, so that's, that's really fantastic as well. Yeah, so um, I, think, uh, I think we're done, right? Thank <laughs> you.